Russia has developed a sapper drone dubbed Strekoza, lit. Dragonfly, capable of neutralizing remotely controlled mines in the Special Operations Zone. Spokesman for the company behind this technology, Igor Stukalo, told Sputnik on Tuesday. Stukalo, who serves as technical director of the defense group, UDA, said that the Russian Ministry of Defense and the Russian National Guard have already conducted tests of the Strekoza unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, which demonstrated positive results. According to him, the drone can be used in areas located as far as 20 kilometers, 12 miles, from the front line in the Special Operations Zone. Stukalo explained that if the remotely operated Strekoza detects a mine with a radio electronic fuse, the drone, which carries a TNT block, will drop it on the target. The spokesman said that the flight duration of the 12 kg drone is 50 minutes, and that the Strekoza kit includes four pairs of rechargeable batteries and a charger. I would like to tell you about the drone-based system of detecting improvised explosive devices. The system has been named Strekoza. We have an ordinary copter, on which we mount a non-linear locator and there is also a control post with an operator, Slobodyanyuk said in the company's video presentation. The Strekoza drone operates at an altitude of up to 30 meters. The locator enables the copter to spot suspicious objects right in the flight. The drone also carries a suspension device for attaching a TNT block. Upon detecting an improvised explosive device, an operator can place it on the object and detonate remotely. The operator's control panel also shows the copter's flight trajectory as indicated in green in the absence of dangerous objects. If the Strekoza detects a suspicious object, the flight trajectory indicates a yellow mark while a red mark will appear on the screen if the detector precisely identifies a dangerous object. The drone is outfitted with a video camera that enables the operator to examine a dangerous object and the environment in detail from all angles. Earlier, the drone is designed to remotely search for mines and improvised explosive devices and has already been tested in Syria. The drone is able to quickly survey a large area and identify sources of danger. The task of Dragonflies is to replace the sapper with a mine detector, especially in the open field through fire. The blaw starts from the armored vehicle, in which the operator remains, and automatically scans the area methodically. Upon detection of the explosive device, Dragonfly determines its coordinates and in real time transmits them to the control panel said in the material. The mass of the device is 12 kilograms, it can be airborne for up to 40 minutes and carry around 2 kilogram payload. The speed of the flight of the UAV during reconnaissance is up to 20 kilometers per hour. Dragonfly carries a non-linear radar, HP900K Korshan, designed to search for controlled mine blasting devices and other technical equipment containing semiconductor components, both in the on and off state. 
During the tests, the complex found explosive devices from a height of 30 meters. With installed on drone camera operator can inspect a suspicious object. According to experts, the use of such UAVs significantly reduces the risks to the lives of sappers and speeds up mine clearance. Russian sappers play a very important role there, so the enemy comes up with sophisticated traps. Often in Syria, the militants installed powerful landmines covered with clay and disguised as stones in an open area, and then detonated them through a radio channel. Also for the sappers working in the city, the snipers of terrorists were dangerous. The drone developed by the company is designed to detect explosive devices, including homemade ones. It is capable of detecting electronics included in the IED. He does this using a special locator. In addition, the copter can carry a TNT block to remotely detonate detected devices. According to the developers, the complex is based on a quadcopter. It detects explosive devices from a height of up to 30 meters and can remain in the air for up to one hour. At the moment, comprehensive testing of the product is underway, and representatives of various law enforcement agencies want to adjust the drone to their own needs. In addition, work is underway to increase the flight range of the Dragonfly.